I am Athena, Greek goddess of wisdom and warfare. Join me in exploring Age of Mythology on Estator TV. See you on the battlefield. All right, Athena. Wisdom and warfare are indeed at the core of any time strategy games. And welcome, everybody. In this video, I present a brief introduction to Age of Mythology Retold. I was quite excited by the official release announcement. I have nice memories of playing the original version 20 years ago with all those mythical creatures such as Minotaurs, Cyclops, Hydras, Sphinx, Phoenix and Titans, only to name a few. I also especially enjoy the features such as exploring and adapting to a randomly generated map and the strategic specialization choices while evolving through the game phases. I am optimistic for this release because of a few reasons. First, the gameplay in the closed beta test was already pretty good. The engine feels responsive and there are many settings for customization and hotkeys. Secondly, the developers introduced new features and reworked the balance in comparison to prior Age of Mythology iterations. Also, this franchise already has a sizable and active community, which ensures that we should never have to wait very long to find opponents of comparable skill level. Now, more about the game itself. We have four civilizations, or pantheons, to choose from, each with different optimal playstyle. The Greeks, the Norse, the Egyptians, and the Atlanteans. There is further playstyle customization by selecting a major deity at the start and then a minor deity for each age advancement. Players decide when to invest some of their resources to progress through the four ages. They are named Archaic, Classical, Heroic, and Mythic. In the interface, the top center circle identifies the age and shows the aging progress. The top bar monitors the stock of four resources. Food, obtained from hunting, foraging, fishing or farming. Wood, from trees. Gold, from mining or caravans. And favor, which is a religious-themed resource obtained from monuments or villagers praying at the temple. The square boxes represent the god powers obtained from the deity selections. The first use is free and can be casted instantly at any time, but there is a cooldown and favor cost for the next users. On the right, there is the current population and housing space, which is raised by constructing houses and additional town centers. It is possible for the population to exceed the housing space in some situations. One of the optional features, which is especially helpful for beginners, is a near population cap warning. There are a few automation options to help with the integration of new players. I understand that the learning curve could otherwise feel overwhelming for players new to the genre, even though the introduction campaign does a good job. It's just that the options are numerous, as we can see in the massive tech trees. The damage and counter system is interesting. In general, melee units beat cavalry, which beat ranged units, which in turn beat melee units. But also myth units beat human units, which can be more cost effective than heroes, which beat myth units. There are also siege units which are good against buildings. There is a good replay analysis interface and lots of post-game statistics with charts. The duration of most 1v1s tends to be somewhere between 10 and 40 minutes with an average that is likely somewhere around 15 to 25 minutes depending on the chosen playstyles. If the game balance is tweaked to be good enough, I might shoutcast some player versus player action on my YouTube channel. I always like to include strategic analysis and tips. I invite you to subscribe! Now, I have to mention the controversy about some people being disappointed 
with the official God Portrait art in Regal. I myself desired to have fun reimagining them to fit my own vision of the appearance those deities might have. Each following interpretation of the major gods is a mixture of generative AI and manual drawing using GIMP, which I'm still learning for fun, and so each image took me somewhere between 5 and 15 hours. May they inspire you and let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. I included one of their in-game flavor bonus to help you pick the one you want to try first. Sit back and enjoy! Thank you very much for watching and see you on the battlefield.